and welcome to Chris Home Metro Park, Chris Home Historic Farmstead. And we're located at 2070 Woodsdale Road, Trenton, Ohio 45067. My name is Laura Asco. I'm the Ag Ed Farm Manager here at Metro Parks of Butler County. And today's topic is about a tiny little insect called an aphid, which you probably have found in your gardens and also here at many of our park sites. So we're going to start out in the garden and then we're going to head out into the woods to see if we can find the boogie woogie aphid. Let's go! So have you seen these brightly colored little insects in your garden throughout the past growing season? They are numerous and found just about everywhere. Not surprising since there are over about 5,000 different species of aphids in the world. Gardeners know about aphids usually when there's an infestation and that they notice that their plants are starting to wilt. So what are these bugs doing? Aphids are insects that suck plant juices with their needle-like mouth parts that are designed to withdraw sap from the plant. There are over about 400 species of aphids that are found on our food and fiber crops, and these species are considered a pest in agriculture. Thankfully, we have natural predators like these ladybirds, otherwise known as ladybugs, to help us keep some of the aphid species under control. Both the larvae and the adult stage of the ladybugs eat aphids. Many other insects die on aphids too, such as the larva of lightning bugs and the hoverfly. A study on birds found that one American goldfinch can consume nearly a million aphids in just one day. So do you know what happens when your entire diet is liquid based? Well, to put it plainly, you pee a lot. For an aphid to remove this waste, they produce what is called honeydew. Other insects such as ants actually harvest or farm this honeydew and have formed a mutualistic symbiosis relationship with aphids. Now look at these cute little boogie woogie aphids called the white woolly beach blight aphid. They have fuzzy little insects with long white waxy filaments that cover their posteriors. And when a colony is disturbed, they will lift their fuzzy rear ends high up in the air and pulse them in unison as a warning to predators. Now they have a syringe-like mouth part called a stylet that actually pierces the bark so they can suck the sap out. And here's one sitting on the end of a person's pinking finger, just to give you a size comparison. Generally not considered a serious threat to our beech tree hosts, however they do leave a mess. Their calling card is a dark buildup around the tree caused by the sooty mold fungi. This fungus turns the aphids excretions, remember what we called that, the honeydew, black in color because it extracts nutrients from it. Now the eggs are laid in autumn around the buds of the trees and the bark crevices, maybe in the stems and in the ground. These eggs hatch in spring after the new foliage has started to grow. And during most of the growing season, these aphids are wingless, but some do develop wings to fly off in search of new hosts. For an insect that is very small in size, they have a very complicated reproduction cycle. And not to go into too many specifics, this group of insects can produce babies through sexual reproduction, asexual reproduction, and parthenogenesis. Here are some nicknames for these cute little white aphids, fairy flies, lawfer fairies, and the poodle flies. Well, thank you for spending a little bit of time with us here at Metro Parks of Butler County. Please join us on our website at yourmetroparks.net and go to log off, shut down, and get outside so you can learn all the new fun activities that we have scheduled. Take care.